Since the time I was a little boy, I was curious and trying to figure things out. I began reading science kind of voraciously. I couldn't get enough of it. It, it just was so fascinating to me to see that people could figure things out on the basis of such a minor amount of detail. They can make accurate approximations of what nature is really like. Parts of nature that we can't see normally, can't experience otherwise. And I'm, I was just so astonished by that. There's something, something important, I think, about the public understanding that science is a human activity. It's a meticulous expression of human curiosity. It's not something weird, it's something we all do. When we're kids, we're natural scientists. We're poking our fingers into things, trying to figure out how they work, what, what happens if I touch this, what, what goes on here. That's what scientists do in a, in a very organized way, but that's, it couldn't be more human. And for us to be separated from that is foolish because that's, that's the most intense form of us you can find when we're watching movies or watching television or listening to the radio, we're aware pretty much of the experience and not so much of the fact that science made it possible. I think those are good examples of how we're like fish swimming in a sea of science. But if you ask the fish, what's all this water around you? The fish would say, what water? We just take it for granted and it would be even more fun and more enjoyable to live in this sea of science if we knew a little bit more about it. There's so many reasons why we need to be able to understand from scientists in their own voice what science is about. One is, our, in our own self-interest, it's fun. It's, it, it's like, it's like as, imagine saying there'll be no more music in the world, or there'll be no more poetry, there'll be no more stories, there'll be no more novels. Well, we've done that with science to a great extent, and it's one of the sources of amazement and passionate interest that's, that's possible. That's just on one level. On another level, if we're not smart enough to be able to help the leaders make decisions about how we want science to affect our lives and what we want to be more cautious about, we're not working on our own self-interest. We can't, why leave that up to other people? It's possibly the way to survive as a species. I don't think it's going too far to say that. It's certainly a way to thrive as a species. And it may save us the idea of getting out there and mixing up scientists with thousands and thousands of people. I think I heard that you had up to upwards of two million people uh, mixing with thousands of scientists. It's just wonderful. If I were living here, I'd go look in the paper or get online and I'd find out where the next event is and hope to find scientists, and I bet you got them, who are really good at explaining what they do and capture our imaginations. And let us know why they're so excited about what they do. Because if we can get excited, then we've got a new thing in our life that we didn't have before.